hey guys welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i achieve this look go ahead and we'll be like a hair maintenance um keep up video slash full face of makeup um i know that i probably i feel like i look a little goofy but you know if you guys have any suggestions after you watch my video in the process of how i got here um just go ahead and comment down below but welcome back to my channel please subscribe please tell a friend to subscribe if you know someone that knows someone that knows someone that's willing to leave a comment or subscribe or wants to subscribe and be a part of our family go ahead and have them subscribe as well and once you subscribe go ahead and drop your either your instagram name your government name or whatever you guys want to put in there and i'll give you guys a shout out on my next video and yeah um also hopefully you guys are liking the new quality of my videos i do have a better phone to record on so hopefully it's coming out really good for you guys also um shout out to uh my girl sheen boo she uh has been helping me a lot um with these videos so yeah let's get into this video and um uh Go ahead and subscribe to also to Sheen Boo's, um YouTube page. And yeah, let's get into this video. Let me know if I slayed though. Did I slay it? Okay guys, so I'm not a makeup guru. I do not know how to do makeup really that well. But sometimes my makeup is on point and sometimes it's horrible. So, to so where I end up washing my whole face off. So... So I'm going to try a new technique that I've seen on YouTube. Um, I can't think of the, the girl's name that was doing the video, but if I do remember the video um, name, then I will uh, put her link down below. But I don't remember. But, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this camera quality. I know I keep saying it, but I'm just so excited about it. And I'm hoping that you guys are liking my editing as far as videos going. Because I have been getting some pointers. And I'm going to shout her out again because she's been amazing help to me. And I'm going to shout out her uh, her channel. Her name is Sheen Boo. Go ahead and look her up on YouTube. And she um, is she's amazing. I've known her for years. Uh, we went to church together. And, you know, she's just an amazing person. I haven't, I, for a minute, we hadn't talked because, you know, people grow up and they move on and do other things, you know. But she, like, I talked to her on the phone the other day and it was like, we didn't even, it was like, we never lost touch with each other. So, once again, I want to say thank you, Sheen. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to get into this video. So, I'm going to put this camera down. And I'm going to pull out my products and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use on my face. And um, I did already wash my face. It's already been dried. So now I have to put some moisturizer on it. And yeah, I'm going to show you which one I'm going to use. And some of these products I did get from my Ipsy bags. Um, and some products I did actually buy. So um, yeah, I am going to show you guys all this. And I did get a new brush set for Christmas from my oldest daughter. I'm so excited about that. So I will be using some of those. I will point those out as well. But let's get into this video. And if you have any any suggestions to help me out. Because I do want to start doing my makeup. But I'm just not sure of some things. And I'm a little sh uh, scared to really branch out there. But I'm going to try. And I'm going to try to do my best. So if it looks horrible, just comment down below and say, girl, stop. And if it looks okay, then say, girl, boom, you did that. And if, it, if there are some things you would change or do differently, comment that down below as well. I am open to suggestions. So with that being said, my mirror is here. So I am going to be looking at my mirror. Um yeah my lighting's probably horrible i do have to get some led lights um i will be doing that soon as well and i'm i ordered a ring light but i'm waiting for that to come as well you know things when you order stuff it just takes a little bit longer but it's okay that's what happens when you live in a town that doesn't have nothing literally literally give me one second i think someone is at my door give me one second all right guys sorry i'm back somebody was at my door 
sorry I'm taking off my house slippers all right so I have my makeup caboodle here and this is not even all of my makeup I have a lot more but this is mainly where I'm gonna be pulling from so I got this in my ipsy bag and it's the, if you watch that video, uh, I kind of showed everything I've been getting, but I made it all in one video. So, um, I did, I think it's called the E, E brand. Let's see. E brand. And it's a green tea primer prep and protect. It's vegan. So I like it. Um, I have another prim primer, but I don't really like it. It kind of, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. It made my skin like really red. So, um. I don't prefer using it on my face. It might work for somebody else, but it doesn't work for me. So I am going to prime my face. And I've seen a lot of people start with their eyebrows first. Normally, I start with the foundation first but today I guess I'll do my eyebrows first so I like to use the Sephora crayon um, waterproof brow pencil and the color is soft core uh, charcoal and it comes to a little it's not really a spoolie but a little comb so um, I don't really like using this one though. So I use, where is it? Doo -doo. Let me find it guys. Give me a second. Well, oh, I could use this one. I use this little spoolie here. And I did recently get my eyebrows waxed. So I don't have to do too much spooling, you know what I mean? And I don't have to do too much uh, filling in. But I'm gonna also do my hair too guys. That's why I had to pull back. Cause I haven't taken it off today. I don't have anywhere to go today, but I'm gonna give you guys a video. So what I normally do is I kind of just fill in, especially when my eyebrows are waxed, like freshly waxed. I don't really have to do much. <coughs> but basically I just kind of just fill it in because I want them to stand out. I don't want them to fade into the makeup. You know what I mean? And it took me a while to learn how to get them right because I always get one that's uh, bigger than the other or something of that sort which is irritating and Yeah, okay, they came out pretty good today. Okay, okay. So, sometimes I have to do this a couple of times. And as you can see, all of these right here, uh-oh, minus this. But all of these right here are eyebrow pencils or eyeliner, something of that sort. I have a lot. Cause I can decide what color I actually like, but I actually like this soft charcoal color. Now I'm gonna go in with the foundation. I like to use if if I go liquid, I like to use the Mary Kay Time Wise uh, Matte Wear Foundation. So I'm going to go with that today, and I'm going to use. Did I get one of those? Yeah. I'm going to use my Mary Kay um, liquid um, makeup foundation brush. I need to clean my brush as a matter of fact, but normally I kind of put a dot. I don't use that much because I don't need that much. Now, uh, kind of just work it in and if i need to add more i will but as of right now it's looking pretty cool and yes that's my baby in the back <laughs> she is talking away 
So just disregard her conversation. I don't know what she talking about. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm trying to do my makeup. I also learned and I saw that I should do my makeup going, like, outward and not um, just crazy how I used to do it. So I'm going to try that method, but I'm going to try not to mess up my eyebrows as well because I just did them. And I don't want them to be messed up. But yeah. So let's go down the middle here. There we go. Up under this eye. Real good. I don't have bags under my eyes. So I don't really need to put too much makeup. But, yeah, this lighting is, like, really horrible. So, I'm going to be back because I'm going to go try to get, I'm going to get my lamp. Maybe it'll give me better um light. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Definitely better because I was, like, feeling like I was doing makeup in the dark. And that's never good. Okay. Now, this is the part that... I be let's see be worried about. Well, let me see something, guys. I'm missing a few things, so I'm looking for. Let's see. I don't see it, but it doesn't mean I don't have it. It's here somewhere. Okay. Oh, there it is. I knew I had it. <clears throat> okay. So now I am going to use the. I'm going to use two. I'm going to try to mix them this time and see if it comes out better mixed. Because this one to me is kind of darker, it kind of too dark. And then this one is like super light. And I haven't found the one that's like in between these two. So maybe if I mix them. Maybe it'll work out. But so I have the stu Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer here. And then I have the CNC Concealer here. Contour. It's contour and concealer. So I can use it as both, but I'm just going to use it as concealer. And I've seen people put it on with or blend it out with the Beauty Blender. So I'm going to use that. But I am going to use. Well, this one has a little uh, brush thing in it. So, I was told that you do this. That's like a little triangle or something. I'm going to see. And you guys tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because this part right here, I'm not sure about. I'm used to just putting on, like... Um, foundation and eyebrows, eyeshadow, eye, you know, the, the simple, the basics. But today, I'm going to try it all. You guys tell me what you guys think. And I need to put this one on, but I need to find a brush. Uh oh. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I was already using this one, so let me just go ahead and use this one. Uh oh. I'm dropping everything, guys. Sorry. For you guys that, that don't know, I have carpal tunnel really bad. So certain, I drop a lot of things. So I don't have filling in my hands, but I will do a video on that as well. Probably most likely comment down below if you want to see that video. So now I am trying to just clean up my eyebrow area. I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly, but like I said, comment 
down below with your suggestions. I am open to them. I've just I'm just going off of what I see and I was told that once you put it under your eye you should let it uh what do you call it? You should let it dry before there we go again. Told you guys I drop everything. Um before um actually smearing it in. I also heard that it's good to put like some like a little bit here in your forehead area and a little bit here on your chin area not quite sure but we're gonna see how all this blends out now before I blend it I have the Sephora contour palette okay and I bought this uh -oh. I bought this about two weeks ago and the lady told it comes with let me see. Let me open it for you guys. Cause I've never used it. Okay, it comes with those colors. And I think I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to go in with this brush. I'm not sure if that's the one I'm supposed to use, but comment down below. So the lady told me that if I want to contour my face, I use... No, no. She said use this middle color here. This middle color. So... And she said, start from here and go here like this. Kind of smile, she said. All right. And then she said to go in with this, I think it was this color. And she said, go down here with this color. And she said, go up here around the hairline, right? And so before I blend any of this in, I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna do my concealer. And you guys tell me if I'm doing this wrong. So I need, I've seen people wet their, um, wet their, what is this called? Beauty blender. But I don't know. I never tried it that way. So let me know if that helps, if it blends better. But see, I have this, right? I think I have the wrong color concealer. I ain't even gonna lie. We're going to see. Hopefully this comes out right. Because I'm not sure. If I'm doing this correctly or not. But. I look crazy right now. I ain't going to lie. So I'm gonna blend this in you know, a little bit with my, you know, get these eyebrows together, honey. There we go. Okay. What, baby? What are you doing? You making noise? All right. And for some reason, I always get one side blended really good. And then the other side is looking like, who did it? Why? Because, and again, but right now I feel like I look crazy, but I'm not done yet. So I ain't going to wipe my face off yet. But the lady told me when I contoured up to do upward, blend it up on the cheek area. And on the jawline area, she said to blend downward. So I am going to try this now. All right, so 
I had to come back because I got a phone call. Anyway, the lady told me to blend upward. So I'm gonna blend upward. Hopefully I'm not blending too much. Hopefully I blended enough. You know. Hopefully. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a makeup guru. So Alright, and I'm gonna blend around the hairline, she said. Blend it really good. And then she said blend downward in the the cheek area. Downward. I mean in the chin area, not the cheek area. Alright. Now I'm looking like somebody maybe. Alright, so this is what I got so far. You guys tell me. Yeah, I have a break out there, I know. But you guys tell me if I'm using the wrong color contour. What about my concealer? Because it's still kind of light right there. But I have a trick that I do for that. And, okay, I'm going to go back into the rest of my face. All right. So, now that I'm done with this concealer. Back. Baby. Baby, mommy trying to do a video, girl. Yeah, mommy. Yeah, mo you're going to do videos too one day, okay? So, since that's done, now I am going to... Oh, boom, doo -doo. I'm going to take this brush. And I have some MAC found powder foundation. I'm going to just put under here, like where I put the concealer at, to like make it blend better. Because I don't like how... You know... There we go. There we go. And I always put a little powder foundation on my nose because my nose tends to be oily and I don't like that. So now that I just brought my face, I feel like back to life. You know? Okay. Um, now... Oh. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try this method, but I'm not sure if it actually works. But the lady also. Ooh. I just broke my nail, y'all. Oh, it hurt. Oh man, that hurt. Now I really gotta go get my nails done soon. Ooh, that hurt. All right. So. Um, I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna take this color of my contour palette. I'm gonna set it here. I can't wait till I get my little vanity because Working in this small space, like, it's hard. So I'm putting this contour over my eyelid here. This shade, because I heard it makes the color pop, she told me. And I'm going to use the yellowish color as well. Just as like a, she said to use it like as a base. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix the two and make it like a base. I'm going to make a base for all of my eyeshadow that I plan on putting on. All right. All right, I think that's enough. And I'm just gonna set this over there. All right, now I have to go back and clean up this area. 
This one had. There we go. All right. So, I'm going to grab another brush. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go dark today. I'm going to go dark. It's been a minute. And I'm going to use this. I've had this for like a long time. So it might be expired. I don't even know if makeup expires. But we're going to use it today. Um, I got this at the flea market when I was first, first starting to do makeup on myself. And I wanted to see like how... You know, I wanted to play around with makeup a little bit and just see, like, what I was, you know, if I liked it or not. So, it's been a couple of years. Maybe this might be old. I don't see an expiration date on here. So, I'm taking it. It's still good. But anyway, it's called Girls Talk. And it has, like, all these colors. And then, you know what? Let me see. I just might have what color is this? Oh, this is a bronzer. Let's see what this is. I got some stuff from the Ipsy bag, so I'm trying to see if I can use it. You know what? I'm gonna use this because I like it. It's sparkly. So I'm gonna use it's called the brand is Hikari. It's a cream pigment. And it's like, you, I don't know if you can see the sparkles in here, but it's really sparkly. So, I think this is an eyeshadow. So, I'm going to use it as one. You know? So, this is what it looks like on the brush. It's really like, a, it's really creamy, so it should stick. I need to put some more on the other side. I just want to let you guys know that I do try to record while the baby is asleep. But if you have children or if you have babysitted an infant before, anything of that nature, they don't really sleep. They sleep, but they don't, you know. And it's kind of... um. I'm bringing my eyeshadow down here to the crack corners of my eye. But, um, she, she, she sleeps, but she still kind of cat naps. She does take a long nap in, like, later on in the evening, but I wanted to record this while I had the energy to do it. All right, so... One of these, this is a eyesh I mean, eyebrow pencil. I told you guys I always drop something. This is the one. So back in the day, I used to use liquid um, eyeliner and I used to, have to wait for it to dry. But, you know, it's 2019, you know, makeup has come a long way. So... I'm going to use a pencil. I mean, a, a yeah, well, not a pencil, but it's, you know. I'm going to have to stand up because I don't think I'm going to. I probably should have put this on first. Give me one second. I'm gonna have to use my liquid because that pencil does not go over that cream. And maybe I should have put the cream on, I mean, the liner on first, but we'll see. So 
So there goes one eye. I'm gonna clean this area up though because it kind of looks bad in this lighting, but yeah. Sorry guys, I know I'm like being quiet and spacing, but I want it to look, I want it to look cool. All right, so I'm gonna take this big brush and I'm gonna blend cause I just feel like it's like not blending correctly or something. And this is why I don't really wear makeup cause I end up taking it off. Cause I just feel like, you know, and it could just be this lighting that I have, but, you know. All right. As good as it's going to get, I guess. Um, mm, which one is this one? No. So I like using Urban Decay's um, bigger, blacker, better um, mascara. So... I'm going to stick with that. I don't like putting on falsies because I don't know what I'm doing. And I know I make ugly faces. It's fine. Laugh it on up in the comments. <laughs> Normally I'm like really close to the mirror, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So. All right. So honestly, I really like my eye area, but I'm not like really feeling like, I'm not really feeling this contour. Like, I don't know if it's like not blending or if it's too dark or like what is really going on, but I don't know. So now I am going to, since I went with the brown, um, let me, okay, since I went with like a brown, um, like eye makeup, I should call it, um, I'm going to probably use this pigment color um it's called gla glaze sorry my eyes been blurry there for a minute on my lip but first i should probably put on lip gloss i don't like putting on lipstick without putting on lip gloss so i'm gonna put on this k voss uh macaroon lip gloss i like it because it's like it gives your lips the softness and it's not like super greasy i don't like greasy i don't like back in the day when you can go to the beauty store and get um lip glosses for a dollar you know the clear ones i don't like those but yeah probably is and i like to mix my lipstick so sometimes I'll put this color on and I'll mix it with, let's see, got a few colors here. Mm, let's see, that's pretty much the same color, so let's not use that. Okay, I'm going to use this color and it probably doesn't even go with nothing I have going on, but I never used it before. It's a, um, I don't even know the brand, it's just a C. And it's Powder Trip. That's the color. So. Okay. 
okay? So I don't have a setting spray. That's one thing I don't have. But I'm gonna give my face one more good, ouch, one more good uh, spruce with the blender and brush. You know, make sure I didn't curl. I think a little bit. No, this one is. So, here's my face. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. Now I'm going to get to this head. Okay? So, I'm going to put my makeup up and get some more hair. First, I'm gonna plug up. I'm gonna plug up my butter. I just realized that my boyfriend took my base to my charger, which was not cool. But it's okay, I got extras. So take my scarf off. And I turned my flat iron on. I did put my hair in a ponytail last night just for the simple fact that I was hot and I was it was starting to stick to me. So um and don't worry, I don't put um heat on my hair every day. I yeah, I don't put heat on my hair every day. I'm just sometimes it's just in certain spots. Not all of it needs to be flat ironed over again, but for the most part, today, like this side is no, it all needs to be flat ironed. So that being said, I put oil on my hair yesterday, so I don't need to put oil on my hair today. So my flat iron only really takes about two to three minutes to really heat up. So, at this point it's hot already. And really, when I do put heat on it, normally if it's, since it's all pretty much straight, cause I keep my scarf on it when I'm not going anywhere, I really just be bumping the ends which I should probably get some like flexi rods or something. So I don't have to keep doing this. So I did my hair a few days ago. I posted that video and that was the video guys that you guys liked. So I probably will be doing more hair videos when I do my hair. So, um, you okay, baby? Like I said, I really just be putting heat on it just to bump the ends. And then... Comment down below. I think I want to do another Q and A, or like, tell me what type of videos you guys like so far. I kind of been throwing out random videos just to see what you guys like more. So far, you guys like my story times, which I need to do another one, and you guys like my um hair videos or well, video because I only put up one and maybe you guys will like this makeup video I don't mind like legit messing up on my face and like having you guys comment down below like the videos 
like on the videos like suggestions or different products i should use uh maybe i should uh, let you guys know that my skin is oily like well it's like in between i should say because some days it's like legit like oily i wake up in the morning and i'm like what the heck and then some days i wake up and i'm like dry as heck so it just depends i think it's like the weather change or something maybe but yeah and i haven't really I haven't put any more gel in my hair because i haven't needed to my hair stayed slicked down uh while i was in sac i did get a lot of compliments on my hair and yeah maybe i'll do because i have to go to sac to do someone's hair so maybe i'll they're comfortable with being me recording them i'll record them but see that's all it takes for my hair since i wrap it and i didn't show the back of my hair so this time i am going to uh turn around and show you guys the back of my hair so you guys can see what it looks like because i don't even know what it really looks like i haven't seen the back of my own hair so we're gonna see it together so this is my hair hopefully you guys can see it at this angle i'll do a slow 360 kind of this is the back okay and this is what it looks like on the daily when i do take it out the scarf i only took it out today because you guys you know but yeah so this is my hair guys and if you want to see how i achieve this look go ahead and i'll put the link for that video down below and um let me know if you have any makeup suggestions because see like right up in here it's kind of dark and i don't know why like was causing it to be dark so just let me know um what you guys think and did i slay or did i fail as far as makeup goes i know my hair is cute <laughs> thank you though but yeah and look at guys i broke my nail <laughs> i'm sad but yeah I'm kind of feeling this lip color though. Let me know. You guys like the eye, eye makeup? Let me see. Yeah. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, comment down below what type of videos you want to see. Any feedback on this video would do great. Because I do want to get better when it comes to makeup. So guys, let me know. Have a good day. Mwah.